Well, let's get more on this now with Robert Oulds, the director of the conservative think tank, the Bruges Group. He joins us now from London. Welcome to the program, Robert. As we heard there, it's been almost five decades since Margaret Thatcher became leader of the Conservative Party, and she's been seen as a transformative figure, not only for the Tories, but for the UK as a whole. Reflect for us on how she changed the party and whether anyone else since has had such an impact. Well, Margaret Thatcher was very much respected as a politician that had strong principles and knew exactly the direction she wanted to take the country. And people found that very reassuring when Britain was at a time when she took over, was in a matter of crisis, went from serious economic problem to serious economic problem with trade unions rampant on strike. This was creating unacceptable problems. And Margaret Thatcher had a solution. And also, she was very popular with working class people because she gave them control of their own lives, more of their own money back, the opportunity to own their own home and be prosperous and have material benefits that people naturally want. And this enabled the Conservative Party to reach out and have new areas of support. And so she was incredibly popular. And it's also going to be this year, four decades since her victory in the Falklands War, which is also very symbolic and very important and one of her greatest triumphs. But really, the similarities between the Brexit Conservative Party of Boris Johnson, which won over working class voters to its cause, and Margaret Thatcher's victories in 1979, 1983 and 1987 were very much driven by conservative principles that were popular with working class people. And the current problems the Conservative Party finds itself in now is because it's abandoned those principles that Margaret Thatcher followed, such as low taxation and freedom, which are very popular throughout British culture, and particularly amongst working class people. And now Boris Johnson is learning that he has to get back to those principles mm. if he's going to survive and remain in office. Yes, let's talk more about that, because the Conservatives' current leader, as you say, PM Boris Johnson, is facing perhaps the biggest challenge of his political career to date as he resists calls to resign for breaking COVID-19 lockdown rules. So you believe that uh, perhaps Boris Johnson has deviated away from core Tory values, and, and do you believe that he should continue to lead the party? Well, the main problems that Boris Johnson faces are really the high taxation that he's introducing. There's a taxation called national insurance tax, and that's going up in April. And that, coupled with the rising cost of energy and inflation, are the main problems that he, that he faces, because that's really going to hit people hard. In a sense, the party gate, uh, where he's, he's attending parties which were perhaps unlawful, we will find out in the due course of time, certainly against government rules and the, and the policies it own been, been setting. That's really, an, in a sense, a distraction. The main problems are that he's allowed taxes, or put taxes up, and allowed inflation to run rampant again. And they're issues that Margaret Thatcher dealt with. She tackled inflation. She got the cost of living down. So these are the real things he has to deal with. Really, we need to ask ourselves, who would replace Boris Johnson. There are questions relating to his leadership and how he's drifted away from core yes. conservative principles. They're, but the, the main thing is who would replace him. So we would prefer course correction and him to return back to the Thatcherite roots that made the Conservative Party popular. That would be the way to go. But his time is running out for Boris unless he really does reverse the policies in which he's been putting the country down recently. OK, Robert Alds from the Bruges Group, thank you so much again for joining us on the News Hour. We appreciate it.